मस्टर द यंगर नॉर इन ऑफन विजिट्स में डू यू थिंक हिज पीपल एट होम विल ऑब्जेक्ट He is very pure and doesn't know what carnal pleasure is. M. He is a large receptacle. Master. That is true. Further, he says he remembers spiritual things after hearing them. only once he told me i used to weep in my boyhood because i couldn't see god the master and m were thus talking about the young devotee when someone reminded m of his school master What is the time now? A devotee. It is uh, ten minutes to one. Master to M. You had better go now. It is getting late for you. You have left your duties. To Latu. Where is Rakhal? Latu He has uh, gone home Master What has he gone away without seeing me After school hours M returned to Balaram's house and found the master sitting in the drawing room surrounded by his devotees and disciples among them were girish suresh baluram latu and chunnilal the master's face was beaming with a sweet smile which was reflected in the happy faces of those in the room m was asked to take a seat by the master's side master to girish you had better argue this point with narendra and see what he has to say girish narendra says that god is infinite we cannot even so much as say that the things or persons we perceive are parts of god how can infinity have parts it cannot master however great and infinite god may be his essence can and does manifest itself through man by his mere will God's incarnation as a man cannot be explained by analogy. One must feel it for oneself and realize it by direct perception. An analogy can give us only a little glimpse. By touching the horns, legs or tail of a cow we in fact touch the cow herself but for us the essential thing about a cow is her milk which comes through the udder the divine incarnation is like the udder god incarnates himself as man from time to time in order to teach people devotion and divine love girish narendra says 
Is it ever possible to know all of God? He is infinite. Master to Girish Who can comprehend everything about God? It is not given to man to know any aspect of God, great or small. And what need is there to know everything about God? It is enough if only we realize Him and we see God Himself if we but see His incarnation. Suppose a person goes to the Ganges and touches its water. He will then say, Yes, I have seen and touched the Ganges. To say this, it is not necessary for him to touch the whole length of the river from Haridwar to Ganga Shagur. Laughter if I touch your feet, surely that is the same as touching you? Laughter If a person goes to the ocean and touches but a little of its water, he has surely touched the ocean itself. Fire as an element exists in all things but in wood it is present to a greater degree. Girish Smiling I am looking for fire. Naturally I want to go to a place where I can get it. Master Smiling Yes Fire as an element is present more in wood than in any other object. If you seek God, then seek Him in man. He manifests Himself more in man than in any other thing. If you see a man in doubt with ecstatic love, Overflowing with prem, mad after God, intoxicated with His love, then know for certain that God has incarnated Himself through that man.